Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today we have a segment, again, on welding helmets. And you're probably wondering why we have so many different helmets out there, and uh, they are. They're uh, all over the place, all over the place in price, but we have one that has some new technology. And the particular one that I'm looking at right here is an intelligent helmet. And when I say intelligent, what does that mean by comparison to this helmet right here? Well, let me go through the helmet selection process, how you normally would look for a helmet, and then I'll go through some of the features here. This particular helmet has features in it like two sensors. And two sensors will give you good sensitivity, but if you get out of position and you block them, it'll flash you. So look for a helmet that's lightweight, comfortable to put on your head, and in this particular case, you have to go inside the helmet and change the shade. For instance, if you're welding lightweight material, if you're doing uh, body fender work, you're probably going to use a 9 uh, shade in this helmet. So you have to get inside here, turn it, set it, make sure it's exactly the way that you want it. And it'll work good for you. Uh, now, if you're welding heavy-duty materials, especially heavy aluminums, you're going to want to turn that sensor all the way up, probably to a 12 or a 13. Again, everything is manual in here. Uh, you can't use this helmet for a grind mode. There are some helmets you can. This one is just down and dirty. It looks good. It's very comfortable. It's priced just right. Because it has two sensors, you're going to find that it's uh, somewhere in the $100 range. So quite attractive. Uh, it's got graphics to it, so it does look pretty cool. Uh, it is solar powered, which is kind of nice. Uh, so when you start the arc, it'll uh, it'll recharge, you know, the helmet's batteries itself. So they all have pretty good warranties on them. I think this one has a three-year warranty. You'll look for that. Um, other than that, there's not many other features on here. So uh, if you look at the the headgear, when you squeeze it down on your head, is it comfortable? So you have to make that choice. Now, if you decide to, to go upscale, and when I say upscale, this one here is the highest technology that I've ever seen, and that's why I'm putting it on the show right now. I have a lot of helmets. This particular helmet is called an intelligent darkening helmet. And you say, well, what the heck is that? Well, let me go through some of the features because we already covered it here. Now, we did talk about this one being two sensors. This one has four sensors. That's not unique but it is an advantage if you get out of position. Now what this does have is it has a grind mode. And when you flip this little lever right here into the grind mode, it gets fairly clear. Now all the helmets that I own, and I own, I own a lot. I probably have 20 helmets that I own. And I have some with the grind mode, but the, the shade on my grind mode is 4.0. This one is 3.0, so I get great clarity. So I grind my tongues and grind parts and things like that. But that's a, that's a massive change going from 4.0 to 3.0. Now, this helmet here goes from 9 to 13 in shades. This helmet goes from 5 to 14. And you can adjust it in half increments. For instance, if you're welding real thin material, and 9 is just a little bit too dark, you can go to an 8.5 and you can just toggle it right here on the fly. Now here is a cool feature on here. This, this helmet is a smart helmet. If you're welding aluminum, and let's just say we're welding quarter inch aluminum at 200 amps, you don't have to set the helmet at all. It will automatically adjust to where you need it. Now if you don't like the shade 12 that it adjusts to and you want 11 and a half, you can toggle it down to 11 and a half, use the helmet, leave it alone, and when you come back to it and make your next weld, it automatically goes to 11 and a half. So those are some of the intelligent features in this thing. Now, the other thing, uh, inside this helmet, you have to make this change, you have to make this adjustment. This is almost, uh, well, it does have a chip in it. If you want to do real thin material and you need to upslope to heavy material, you can make this helmet adjust to that. For instance, I can go inside the helmet and hit five. And if I'm welding, micro welding, at a half an amp, it'll show me a five. And if all of a sudden I jump over here and I'm welding at 200 amps, I'm going to want a 12. So I can, I can program that into the helmet itself. Now this has a solar power and it also has a battery backup. So anytime you hear the term chip, then uh, and this is the first one that I've ever used. Now, if you look at the viewing size of this, 
it's tremendous. Um, it's about 12 and a half, 12.6 square inches. So I had to call the manufacturer and ask them what the price of this was, because this one, it's about a hundred dollar plus or minus helmet. This one here is a 300. So those are your ranges. And so that's what I say, an intelligent helmet. This one's called an IDF 81 Speedway helmet. If you want the graphics on it, fine, that's the, at the $300 range. If you take the graphics off, you actually take some of the weight away, not a lot, but if you just go a solid black or a gloss black, you save yourself about $20. But just know that this helmet is probably the most intelligent helmet I've ever seen, and I can't even imagine three years from now where technology is going to take us. You know, it's very much like having the old flip phone, and now i got a smartphone. Uh, this is a smart helmet. So thank you for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.